hello guys welcome to my new changing impact video guys in this video we are going to talk about the new character the new tendro five star character bezu bezu is fully scaled on hp percentage and second thing that bezu is gonna need is energy recharge so two important Black things that bezu is gonna need first is game. HP percentage and second is energy recharge. So in this video, we are going to talk about the top five weapons, top five four shot weapons for uh, for Bezu. So stay tuned till the end, guys. Okay, guys. On number five, we have the sacrificial fragment. Yes, yes, guys. I know what you all thinking that this having elemental mastery no energy recharge no L, uh, hp percentage why you recommend recommending this weapon for bezu first of all guys h related weapons are very few in the game if you talk about the four stars or the five stars so if i'm gonna make a top five video definitely that video is not gonna contain all five hp percentage weapon but still if you have no other option in your inventory and you have the sacrificial fragment lying around in your inventory you can use this weapon this weapon is good i use this weapon on nahida and i think this is one of the best four shot weapon for nahida but you can still use this weapon on bezu if you have no other option why look at the passive ability of this weapon this weapon's passive ability gives you a chance to deploy your character's elemental skill two times and we already know how important is elemental skill of any character especially a sub dps or a support character because a support character always uh, very useful in his or her elemental burst so in order to get elemental burst fast we need to deploy elemental skill for many times so if you want to deploy elemental skill two times at the same time so that means that character's elemental burst is going to be regenerate faster so if you use this weapon with bezu this weapon helps you to regenerate bezu's elemental burst fast also bezu's elemental skill attacks the opponent and heals your all party member so you can do that two times you can attack your opponents two times and you can heal all your party members two times so this weapon is going to be amazing on fifth just because of the passive ability and the elemental mastery is i don't know how elemental mastery is going to be helping but bezo is gone is a dendro character and definitely bezo is also dealing some dendro damage so in that case maybe directly or indirectly this elemental still will gonna help bezo in some way but guys definitely if you have no other option you can give this weapon to bezo no problem on number four guys we have the oath swan eye the oath swan eye this is a inazuma's craftable catalyst you can forge this weapon uh, you can get the blueprint from inazuma and you can forge this weapon in the game for free this weapon is a free proper free free to play weapon why this weapon is going to be good and better than the sacrificial because this weapon gives you attack percentage 27% attack percentage and 565 base attack although attack percentage or base attacks not gonna helps bezu in you know uh, not gonna help bezu a lot but look at the passive ability guys increase energy recharge by 48% for 10 se seconds after using the elemental skill so i think this will help this weapon is giving your character 48% energy recharge 27% attack and 565 base attack definitely this weapon is a pretty much very good weapon you can use this weapon on maximum character and also you can use this weapon on bezu because just because of the passive ability giving gives you 48 percent of energy recharge that's that's very huge so if you have no other option you can give this weapon to bezu this weapon helps your bezu to gen uh, generate the elemental burst faster just because it's having a 48 percent element uh, energy recharge so on number four guys earth swan eye okay guys on number three we have favonius codex this is another another energy recharge weapon this weapon is a pretty good weapon and why this weapon is better than sacrificial or earth swan because this weapon having a 
slightly similar passive talent to sacrificial and this having a main threat with the energy recharge 40 this weapon gives you 49% sorry 46% total energy recharge on level 90 and you can also already seeing here on R5 this one gives you crit hits have a 100% chance to regenerate small amount of elemental particle which will regenerate 6 energy for the character can only occurs once every 6 seconds that means this character giving you a loss of loss of energy like literally loss of loss of energy and also generating you extra elemental particles if you have 50 to 60 created on your character yes yes definitely yes so on third guys this favonius codex this weapon is going to be very very good if you have no other option you don't have the hp percentage weapon and you don't want to spend your money your time on hp percentage weapon you can give this weapon to bezu this weapon is going to be perfectly good not so awesome not so bad uh, average weapon for bezu on number three we have favonius codex let's go to number two okay guys on number two we have hakushin ring hakushin ring yes hakushin ring this weapon i think this weapon is also a forgeable weapon i don't know i'll leave it there this weapon is a four shot weapon giving you a base attack of 565 and energy recharge of 30.6 percentage but the amazing part of this weapon is the passive ability after the character equipped with this weapon trigger an electro elemental reaction nearby party members of an elemental type involved in the elemental reaction receive a 10 percent elemental damage bonus for their elements lasting six second elemental bonuses gained in this way cannot be stacked so you all are thinking this weapon is based on element electro elemental reaction so why are you recommending this weapon on a character like bezu bezu is a dendro character bezu's major reaction is based with the electro we all know the hyper bloom the aggravate these are all the reaction that includes electricity electro so I put, I'm putting this weapon on number two. I don't know this weapon is going to be that good that this deserves a second position or not. But this weapon is giving you a good amount of base attack and good amount of energy recharge and also giving you an elemental damage bonus for all the party members. So I think this weapon is a very cool weapon. You can use this weapon on Bezu if this weapon is gonna work, gonna be working on Bezu. I think this weapon is gonna be very very good. This one giving you energy recharge and also giving you elemental bonus for all the party members. This one gonna be very very cool. I don't know if this weapon deserves the second position, but I think this weapon is good. Yeah, let's move on to number one, our hero okay guys now here's the main weapon i fucking love this weapon this weapon is so so good guys i just love this weapon i just uh, i just i just want to say this one thing forget all the four weapon 